23. The bond angle of a C-C single bond averages about 347 kilojoules per mole, and that of a C-C triple bond averages 839 kilojoules per mole. Explain why the triple bond is not three times as strong as the single bond. Okay, good question. So when we break it down, right, it seems like we have a C single bond, and they're telling us that this is 347 kilojoules per mole. Okay, beautiful. And then they're telling us that a triple bond with three lines, CC, is roughly 839 kilojoules per mole. So the question is, why isn't this three times more than the first one when this is literally three lines and this is only one line? Well, the question comes from, or the answer comes from, what types of bonds are a single and a triple bond? So a single bond is always one sigma bond, right? And that's the denotion for a sigma bond. So if you have just one single bond, and maybe I'll just put that up here. If we're saying sigma, it's always this symbol right here. Now a sigma bond is always the bond, if I just have to draw it, it's always the overlap between the two orbitals that are basically nucleus to nucleus. If I just draw this over in black just to kind of show you, the overlap is right here. And that's where your two electrons are gonna go, one from carbon and the other one from carbon. And this makes a single bond, AKA a sigma bond. But the sigma bond is always from nucleus to nucleus in a direct line. So it's, it's pretty strong, 347 kilojoules per mole. Now the triple bond, Technically, the framework, the one in the middle, doesn't have to be in the middle, but I like to draw it in the middle. The one in the middle is the sigma bond, or one of these lines has to be a sigma bond. And the rule is, is that you can only have one sigma bond per, you know, double or triple bond. So for this, we will still have the, if I just, oh boy. <laughs> You know what, I, I, I might as well just draw it like this again. So here comes the sigma bond, right? And the overlap is here. And it's from nuclei, you know, nucleus to nucleus, that's the sigma bond. But these other two lines, those aren't sigma bonds. You could only have one sigma bond for a, a unit. The rest are pi bonds. So in a triple bond, you have, maybe I'll put it over here, for a triple bond, you have one sigma and two pi. For a single bond, you have one sigma. So it would make sense if we had, for the triple bond, three sigmas, then technically the number should be three times the amount, but we have two totally different bonds. And those are not from nucleus to nucleus. Those are on the top and bottom. These are represented with your pi orbitals or your, your p orbitals. Think of them as the dumbbells. So one goes on top, the other one goes on the bottom. And one electron for each one, and they have to bind. When they bind, they basically lose, you know, their connection and they're now just all connected with each other. So kind of like that. And then those electrons will be shared. That's one pi, so you have to draw it again. Maybe we'll do it in green. And when you start drawing triple bonds, they get really hairy because now we're doing like three dimensional. So the green that I'm drawing right now is technically coming in front of me and going in the back. It's got three dimensional properties, one electron for each. And now I'm just going to bind them by just connecting them just to kind of show you. 
and maybe I'll just draw it in the back here. There we go. Perfect. And we will just, I guess we'll draw the, the yellows in. And that's basically what it comes down to. Explain why the triple bond is not three times more strong as a single bond. It's because you do not have three sigma bonds. A triple bond has one pi and two, uh, sorry, one sigma and two pi bonds. So those pi bonds are, you know, not as strong as the sigma bonds. And that's why this value is less than three times the amount here. The pi bonds are not as strong as a sigma bond, mainly because it's, you know, on top and bottom or in front and in back. It is not the bond directly from nucleus to nucleus. That's the sigma bond, and that's the strongest bond. So hopefully all of this that we went over explains why the triple bond is not three times strong as a single bond. And there you go. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for viewing the video. Um, if you wouldn't mind, please hit the subscribe button. Just gets the word out there that this channel exists. And I hope you're doing well. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.